Welcome back to Trading Card Tuesday. I'm Debbie from Ugly Dog Creations, and I'm here to bring you another artist trading card for this Tuesday. And this week, I've decided to draw my pug, Ginger. She is part of the Ugly Dog Creations group. We have three pugs here, and Ginger's our youngest. And she is an apricot pug, so she's a little bit darker than a fawn pug. So in thinking about that, I drew her front and her back, turning her into a cartoon. Maybe we'll use her as a logo for the Ugly Dog Creations. She also has a book that was written about her called Ginger Likes, and it has actual pictures and is meant for children about age three to six. It's a learning to read type of book with sight words and beautiful pictures of Ginger the Pug. So if you're interested in that, go over to uglydogcreations.com and you can find a little bit more about how you can get that book. In the meantime, I did ink this in with the Copic Multiliner 0.3 and then I went back in and I had to pick out my colors. I've started a collection about three and a half months ago, so I still have limited colors, but I, I'm working with the fit shades of what Ginger looks like. I'll post a picture of Ginger at the end so you can kind of see what she looks like. And I started out with E01, which is called Pink Flamingo, and I laid that down as a whole base coat on her entire body. And I do that for the front and the back. And then I went in with E11, Barley Beige, and then E13 for Light Suntan. That's kind of giving the more shadows. And then you'll see after I kind of complete Oliver, I go back in and I actually use E74, the Cocoa Brown. I use that for her ears and her muzzle and part of her tail. I actually go back and use that in some of the dark spots on her body. You know, pugs have lots of folds, and so I added that as well. And then I went back in also and used E79, which is cashew. And I use that on the muzzle and in the, the tips of the ears where they're darker on her body. So you can see kind of that muzzle. And I actually dabbed it in. So you're going to see that coming up and dabbing that. I'm going to be dabbing that in. I kind of want to do my voiceover at the beginning and just let it be a speed paint for you. So that's pretty much all that I'm going to say. I do go back in and do a background on it. And I don't know if I'll actually include that in that part of the video, but I will show you the final look. It's just a, a pink background, and it's I used RV000, pale purple, RV10, which is pale pink, and RV11, which is pink. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. Share it with your friends. I'm just starting out on the channel, so I kind of want it to get out there. If you want to see my trading cards every Tuesday, we're doing it for the entire year, then you know, hit uh, subscribe and then you'll get those notes. Uh, it'll come up in your notification box. You can even hit the bell if you want an actual notification to come to you. And I really do appreciate everybody that's watched my videos and those people that have subscribed so far. Um, like I said, it's something brand new. I'm getting out there, getting art in every single week. So I'm hoping it's something that you will too. I'll come back at the very end and maybe doing a little voiceover um, at the very end. And I just want to say thank you to everybody, and I hope that just like I have been today, you get out there and you're creative today.
I hope that you liked that uh, speed paint there. I did use my Copic markers. I'm still uh, uh, really exploring with them, so you'll be seeing Copic markers quite a bit. I will start to change it up. If you want to see something specific or you'd like to see a different medium, um, just leave a, a, a note down below. Let me know what you think. Also, how you like the format. Do you like it to be speed paint with just the music? Would you like for me to go back in and actually detail each time I'm changing colors. What would you like to see in the video? I'm, I'm here to kind of put it out there for people to kind of help them. And any other questions you have, put them down below. If I don't know the answer, I'll try to find it for you.
So anyways, I told you before, but I'm going to say it again. I hope that you get out there and you're creative today. Have a great day.